Hi, I'm Ryan Ashley, and today we are going to make honeycomb earrings. Today, we are going to be making two different versions of a honeycomb inspired earring. And all you need is 20 gauge wire, 26 gauge wire, a jewelry hammer, bench block, two different chain nose pliers, I just like a little variety, and of course, your flush cutters. The first thing we do is pull out a few inches of 20 gauge wire. I don't measure it, I just kind of eyeball about six to eight inches. And we're going to start with a super simple stud mini dangle honeycomb earring. This is gonna be way easier than you think. All you need is this larger chain nose plier and the wire and a few bends and you have your earring. I start by putting the wire right at the largest width of your chain nose plier. So right here where it has this little mark on the plier, that's where I always position my wire so I get the same exact bend every time. Bend it, and I'm not even thinking about angles right now, I'm just getting my bends. I put it in the exact same spot, bend it, in the exact same spot, bend it, and I repeat that until I have a honeycomb shape. Let's see here, looks like I need one more bend. All right, so right now it doesn't look totally like a honeycomb, but we're going to bend it into shape and you're gonna see it become the honeycomb earring of your dreams. Now we have the shape of a honeycomb. We're going to go ahead and cut this wire so that it looks like this. And then we're gonna hammer it just a little bit to make sure everything is even and to make the wire just a little bit harder so it keeps its shape. So here you'll see I've kind of opened up the honeycomb. This is the part that goes through my ear. Take my flush cutters, cut the wire, and then I just bend it out a bit, because right now, you see there isn't much space for the ear. We want it to look exactly like that. So I bend this out just a little bit, and then I also cut that first edge just a little bit more. See how much longer that is than our sample? So I go ahead and cut this to make more room for your ear, and now I'm going to straighten and hammer have a little bit of a curve there, so I'm just going to kind of straighten it. This is where you might use your second pair of chain nose pliers to help you grip. Okay, everything looks pretty straight. Just going to bend that out just a tiny bit. Again, trying to make sure that I have enough space here for the ear. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my bench block. I'll lay down my earring and do a light hammer. And it looks like this edge here is still poking up just a tiny bit, so I'm going to take my chain nose plier and just give it one last final little twerk. And that's all there is to it. All right, so moving on to slightly more complicated, but still pretty easy to make, beautiful honeycomb dangle earring. We're going to start the exact same way. We're going to grab a length of wire, maybe grab a little bit more this time, just so you have extra to play with. Cut it, and then we do the exact same thing. So I'm going to position my wire right at the widest point of my chain nose pliers. I'm going to bend, and I'm gonna keep bending until I have the shape of a honeycomb. And then we're going to do it again. So you have the second honeycomb on the bottom to create that dangle. Let's see. Yeah, we need one more bend. I would stop just one bend too short. <laughs> okay, perfect. 
So now we have the basic shape of the honeycomb. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but in the opposite direction so that we get this kind of stacking effect. All right, so right around this point, that's where I'm going to want to do it because we want this outer corner here to be the beginning of your next one. All right. Let's see here. So I did my bend, and then, oops, let me turn it over this way. Okay. This is always a little bit confusing. I'm like, where do I go again? Because I'm doing everything opposite. <laughs> you'll probably do that too. You'll, you'll maybe second guess yourself a little bit, and then you'll see exactly which direction to go in. Okay, I almost have all my bends. Now on this one, you can see I pretty much have my stacking honeycomb shape ready. I wanna do one more bend because if you notice here, I have actually overlapped this bend and that's where I wrap my 26 gauge wire to keep it in place and add a little detail. So I'm gonna bend one more time. You see how I kind of grip these together to just make sure everything is lining up just right. And I will snip this overlapped piece of wire just short of the angle in the honeycomb because I actually want it to fit right underneath that top little edge. So I'll kind of bend this apart just a little bit to give me some room to play with. And then I snip it. And I play with it a little bit until it lines up right underneath. Now this one's a little bit wonky, that's totally fine. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and bend it into shape and then we'll do the wire wrapping. And for those of you who are thinking, well, can't we do the wire wrapping first? The only problem with that is once the wire wrapping is in place, if you start to kind of bend the rest of the earring, you might end up kind of working it out of shape and the wire might slide around. So this is a really, really good thing to go ahead and do first, making sure everything is lined up making sure all those lines and angles are nice and straight and even. Let's see here. Okay, this one's a little bit wonky. And I love these earrings because they look high end, but they're, I mean, we're using brass wire here. You can use other wires as well. You could use gold fill if you wanted to or sterling silver. It's totally up to you. You'll notice that I also do that, that same bend here, and we'll do that at the end. So I'll go ahead and just make sure, we got a little bit of a slant here, and you can totally keep that if you want. I'm just gonna straighten it just a little bit more. And then we will wrap that wire. Okay. I'll get that out of the way a little bit. Perfect. So. With the 26 gauge wire, go ahead and cut a length. You don't need a whole lot. And in fact, if you get a really long piece, it can be a little bit hard to manipulate and to push through the honeycomb shape. So I'm cutting about maybe four inches here. And just a final little adjustment. And I'll show you a little trick for pushing this wire through the honeycomb without bending it all over the place. So the first thing I do is put a little bit of that wire through and then I kind of grip it and I start wrapping it around and through. See how that kind of got a little crimped? Now I am going to want to push it through the bottom honeycomb. I actually use my chain nose plier to help. See how it does it in a way that doesn't create any crimping? So that really helps you keep your wire in check. And I can do it on the top and the bottom. And I'm not too worried about it being neat right now. I'm just making sure that when I pull the wire through, I'm giving it a little tug, just to give it some good tension. We will make it all neat and tidy at the end. 
All right, we just keep on doing this. I did about seven or eight wraps, but that is totally up to you. You can do fewer wraps for a little bit less of an accent, or you can do more to cover this entire area. Look at that, I'm just gonna scoot this over a little bit. Keep wrapping. I love these earrings because they are so lightweight and they go with pretty much everything. You don't have to worry about matching colors. You can use silver tone if that's more your style. Let's see, just a couple more wraps here. Again, I'm using these chain nose pliers to keep my wire from crimping and to help me easily push it through these shapes. All right, I think I feel good about that. So really one of the last steps here is that I'm going to kind of zhuzh all my wire to the middle with my chain nose pliers and then I'm going to clip those excess ends. I'm gonna give it a light hammer just to make sure everything is solid and right where it needs to be and then they will be ready to wear. So I'm taking my chain nose pliers and pulling, just tugging a little bit, just tugging a little bit. Because I want, I want as I'm pulling, what I'm doing is I'm also trying to get these ends to be totally lined up, to stack right on top of each other. And then I'm pulling this wire over, let's see. And then I'm actually going to use, I'm gonna make this opening a little bit wider, open the jaws here, and just do that. Just to get everything really nice and neat in the middle. Back to my chain nose, or flush cutters. I'm clipping the wire so that it almost overlaps a little bit with the top. See that? So I can kind of scoot that in. Move it a little closer to me here. There we go. There we go. That way there's nothing sticking out. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'm still going to tug on this just a little bit to make sure everything's lined up just the way I want it. Now, while I was working, the top of my <laughs> earring got a little wonky. So I am going to work on making that just a little bit neater. And it looks like the one thing I forgot to do was we actually clip, whoops, we actually clip this, this piece right here. So we end up with one less edge and that helps the earring go right through your ear. So I am clipping it right there. And I'm going to grab my bench block and my hammer, give it a couple little taps. And this just makes it a little stronger and we make sure that everything is lined up correctly. It also kind of helps this wire get really flat and stay in place. Today we made one of each, but you just repeat that process for a pair or if you're feeling unique, you can wear them as an asymmetrical pair of honeycomb earrings. So now you have two different pairs of honeycomb earrings. We have daytime, a little bit more nighttime, but I say wear these all day long too. And just a couple of tips for you. You can wear them as is. I'm wearing this pair with no backs at all. And they're so lightweight and they sit so comfortably in the ear that I don't worry about them falling out. But some of you just want that extra security. So if you have those little rubber backs, I would say go ahead and add one on. It will not even be noticed. Same goes for this pair. Wear them as is or add a little back if you like a little extra security. We hardly needed any tools or supplies today. Just two types of wire. We have 26 gauge and 20 gauge, a bench block and jewelry hammer, which are totally optional. I have a couple of different chain nose pliers for variety, and then my flesh cutters. I'm so glad you joined me for one of my favorite beginner jewelry making projects. If you would like to pick up supplies and tools like the ones I used today, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Now, what kind of jewelry are you going to make now that you have learned how to make super simple and endless kinds of honeycomb shapes? Make sure to tell us in the comments below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you always see our next video. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.